how to deal with fear or anxiety and uh, I have something to share about it because in the past I used to have problems with anxiety and uh, fears etc etc so uh, when I was having the hardest moments from that it was years ago fortunately I was in the monastery in um, Burma and I was with Seado Tejenia and together we were working he gave me the courage to go through and then found a formula which works very well I have shared it I used for myself and it really worked and I have used with uh, I share with some other people they have used it and they, it also works so uh, found out that fear uh, anxiety even paranoia has three ingredients to, to be to be happening so like a light bulb for example it has two cables positive and negative with one cable that we disconnect one of them it doesn't matter which one the the light will not come up so in the same way the fear has three three mental ingredients that even if just disconnecting one of them the the uh, the sensation or the bad mental state the suffering will not arise so the first ingredient that uh, is important for that to happen is imagination. But when we ask, oh, but there is imagination bad? Because sometimes imagina with imagination you create music, you create technology, architecture, all the beauty that many of the beauty that we have seen in the world created that humans came because of imagination. So imagination in itself has no problem. It is with whom that imagination associates. And here is when the second ingredient comes, and it is negativity. So when we get a wild imagination together with negativity, it starts really making a problem. All the jealousy, imagination and negativity. Oh, maybe that person is going with somebody else. All the fears, oh, I wish this, I don't get sick. I wish I, this doesn't happen. I wish everything goes well. I wish I don't die. I wish, I wish, I wish. And only the mind is imagination. But the problem is not imagination itself. It's when it gets associated with negativity. And also there is the third ingredient that is thinking about the future. Because I ask a question to myself at that time. Can we afraid of something that happened already? It happened already. Why am I afraid of something that happened already? Mm, well, sometimes I think I might be afraid that it repeats. Yes, but what happened, I'm not afraid. It already is gone. It's gone forever. I might be worried that it repeats. Where? In the future. Either in the near, near future or the far future, when we are older, etc., etc. So these are the three ingredients I, 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 ingredients I find out that made up for all the fear arise from imagine, negative imagine, imagination. How many things we have feared in our past and they never happened. So how do I treat fear right now? It's like talking to a, like if you have a liar, a, a person that is lying all the time. When, I, when you listen to people who lies to you all the time, what do you think about it? Well, you listen and they just let it go. You know it's lying. So in the same way, I, I, it's a way to treat to, to fear. But also disconnecting the three ingredients that are inside it, it's very, very efficient. So how to deal? Fortunately, there are ways to disconnect these three ingredients one by one, and then jealousy cannot happen, anxiety cannot happen, paranoia, etc., etc., can, can, can be uh, dissolved. So the first one is imagination. How to do when we recognize that we are afraid, that our mind is imagining this and that, what if, what if, this is the way imagination speaks. Be very careful when you hear the what if happening in the mind, sound the alarm, ta, 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 something is happening, and then we hold the reins like a horse of the mind and say, no, 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 my dear, don't go far, stay, 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 steady with me, don't go because I know where you leave me. That is the first ingredient. And Sayadu Utajaniya once told me, and I use that teaching very often, he says, when you recognize that you have fear, don't believe what the mind is saying. The mind is unstable. Whatever suggestion the mind gives is gonna be unstable. Wait for it, and we can tell the mind, yes, yes, I hear you, you are welcome. Not now, later. Thank you very much, later we see. When you are stable, then we can deal. So don't believe the thoughts when the fear is there, when the anxiety is there, don't follow them, because that's the only thing they are, is just a suggestion from the mind. 
The mind suggests, what do you think? Should we worry about this? Should we worry about that? If I take it and follow it and give energy to it, then I will worry. But I listen and oh, thank you, I'm fine. We don't give energy and it becomes only a suggestion that came up and went down. So that is how to deal with imagination. Keep the mind closed, don't believe the thoughts. The second ingredient to disconnect is negativity. Would it be fair to be thinking negative all the time? After all the blessings that we have, we have a home actually, we have food every day, we have plenty of clothing, we have friends, we have family, access to information, all the blessings that we have, and be th being thinking negatively, I think is even unfair, even unfair for life, unfair for ourselves, unfair for our privileged condition. So one of the tools which is very simple to do and apply every day is seeing what we do have, what is positive in our lives. So that means the practice of gratitude. Every day in the morning, if we, I would totally recommend to all of you to make a list of all the things that you are grateful for, keep it in your phone, and whenever you see your mind thinking negatively, fright, frightful, and anxious, bring up please this list and there will be then the third line you will see put the most important things on top and every time I, I, it happens to me when I hear the see the see the see the list wow after three lines the mind already got perspective and already the negativity is kicked out because the mind is not obsessed in what we do in what we don't have but we what what we do have we are focusing and making it evident Go as deep as saying, as thinking, I can see, I can walk by myself. And there's many people who cannot say that. I can think clearly, our mind works, and there's many people in the world who don't. People without food, without a uh, house, etc., etc. So put all those things in positive, I can see, and also I am not blind. So that reinforces uh, much, and you can use, and that will be a fair way, and very simple way to counteract the obsession we have for the mind to be thinking negatively. Evolutionarily, we were designed to do so. That's why we survive. But we must understand this process and don't follow it. We need to balance it with all the positive things that happen in the world. Check out the news that you are seeing and also see that good things are happening in the world. The only thing is that they don't make much uh, headlines. <laughs> but there is many people today going out from hospital. Many new parents, grandparents, children right now playing all over the world and imagining and creating and we can be rejoiced about many things in the world. So that is how to disconnect negativity. Imagination, we keep the mind closed. Negativity, because of fairness. We don't obsess with the neg uh, what goes wrong but only what goes right. Practice generosity. And the third one is future. So the best thing to do is just be here. Release the thoughts, thoughts of the mind going towards the future. What if this? What if that? Bring the mind back similar to what we did with imagination and we come to our bodies. So one of the best techniques to do so is to check your breath. Can we breathe in the past? Impossible. Can we breathe in the future? Yeah, I know I will breathe in the future, but right now I cannot know. So the only moment, if I am aware that I am inhaling, or exhaling, definitely that is an assurance that I am here. So I use the body to anchor myself. I'm not thinking on the future. I will see, I can do plans, but I go do what I need to do and come back. Like a ninja, I go do my job and come back to my center. Only in this present moment is where we can experience life. So future, yes, I will plan, do a list. If I don't have information, no need to be worrying about the future. It will come whenever it comes. We are ready with, with our plan and that's it. So we come back to the body, stay uh, anchored in, in our breath and with this way we can disconnect the three of them. So if imagination is under control, negativity is on its place and it's not, the, 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 the balance is not on to one side. I'm also seeing what I have and I'm not thinking about the future. How can worry can come? 
how fear can come, or even paranoia or, or mental instability. So uh, please, my dear family, make use of it. It has been helpful for me for years already. I have to confess, I was experiencing very deep uh, moments of paranoia, thinking and worrying and doubting all around. I am very happy to report that, that the last time that happened was years ago, more than eight years ago, and it has not coming back. And there is one question that helped me a lot to overcome very quickly. All, all of that happened very, very nicely. I was, whenever I was feeling fear, anxiety, or even the paranoia, I was asking myself, can I deal with this moment? Only this moment. This is my only responsibility, isn't it? I'm not in the future. I'm not in the past. Only this moment. Yes, I can. Another thing that I was doing is, oh yeah, from what I hear, is there something frightening or that generates a paranoia? No. Right now there is silence, a little bit sound of the air con or whatever, or the sound in the street. No. From what I see, separate. Is there something frightful? No. The camera or the lights or the wall or the door or whatever. Oh, there is nothing. So by separating and coming back, this question really, really helped me. My only responsibility is this moment. So the future was under control. Can I deal with this moment right now? And you will see that it is always possible. Next moment, the mind agitates again. We ask the question again. Can I deal with this moment? And we move like this. The mind will come. The mind will see the benefit of being at peace. We get strong because we know how to do it by disconnecting the imagination, the negativity. Don't let them come close together and keeping the mind in the present. And we get this strength that we know how to overcome and we'll be much more stronger than fear, much more stronger than anxiety, paranoia or whatever it comes to in our way. I wish for all of us to make uh, use of these tools and may it be beneficial. And when you can, share it with friends and family, especially those that you know that are having trouble with it. And may we all be benefited by the teaching from that has come through the years to all our teachers. And there are more and more tools that can be found in the Dhamma. We continue exploring, applying them. And may we all be at peace. May at peace with life and have a fulfilled, prosperous, Mm -hmm. and harmonious, happy life for all of us and all our families. Mm -hmm.